is the Just Chatting Chat. Podcast, man. <laughs> man, this year 2023, bro. Episode 7. Episode 7, man. And we got Mo Bangers dropping, man. You know what I'm saying? Today, man, we got something good, you know what I'm saying, in store for y'all, man. We got the founder of Habits 365, man, you know what I'm saying? Big Drip. I fell in love with him. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Man, so, but we go, before we get to all that, though, you got some goals for this year? Oh, uh, yeah. I got a couple goals. Yeah, name, goals. name like two goals for us this Just year, man. Just two to keep elevating, you know what I'm saying, and staying focused at all times, because that's the biggest thing right now for me. Yes, yeah, Sersky, man. Yes, elevation. Just want to keep man. grinding to the top, you know what I'm saying? Keep shining, doing what I'm doing. Yes. What about you? Uh, man, I'm trying to, I'm really trying to just go big on this podcast right yeah. now, bro. That... It's all good. platforms right now and really just you know what i'm saying get my influencer mode going on you okay. know what i mean like i'm really trying to do that man yeah. this thing good so yes, we need yes. all y'all to support us you know what i'm saying all that good stuff yes getting to that good you know what i'm saying drip drip yeah i really fucks with the drip right. i'm saying we seen little baby in it man yeah. we seen yannis in it man we seen floyd mayweather in the gear man so go ahead and let's introduce our next guest, man. The founder of Yo Own Habits 365, man. Let's go. Yo, 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 we're in here. So, 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 really funny. Before we get started, so my my uh, my like apps to be updated. There was like 150 apps that I haven't updated it, and I'm uh, like. All right. Oh, yeah, it's one of them. Man, but we got to give you, you know what I'm saying, your round of applause. We hey. appreciate for having you. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. And for the people, I'm sorry. No, I was, I was just making sure my camera's all good. Okay, we all good. All right, so the people that don't know you, please introduce yourself. Yeah, so my name's Eli, and I'm the founder and CEO of Lifestyle Brand Habits 365. Yeah. I started back in 2020. 17 I, I i always blank on 2015 and 2017 because i was 15 when i started it so wow. i always get the years confused but yeah so yeah pr pretty <laughs> much launch a streetwear company kind of out of out of the blue and then here we are so yes. on the dope podcast so. yes i appreciate <laughs> you yes so uh where are you from yes yeah, so I'm, I'm from new york new york city manhattan how you like it there i love it i i mean you know, I've always loved the city. I've loved, you know, looking at, you know, the shoes in the city, the streetwear in the city, really yeah. just everything. Yeah, they, they should be very nice. Yeah, it's it's just a place that's different than any other place in the world, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And, you know, th there's pros and cons of New York City. I think there's more pros, but, I mean, probably the general public would, would say there's more <laughs> cons. But right. for, I, I've, I've always loved the city, um, you know, at, all the lights that it brings mm -hmm. to, and all the attention it brings to streetwear. Oh yeah, to fashion in general, and that's kind of what inspired me that, at first. That's major, yeah. How the weather? How the weather up there? Because we up north too, so we got, we <laughs> yeah. understand what you mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, today. I mean, today was like it was like I'm, I'm a little under the weather, so I, I haven't been outside in a few days. But it, it's like 50, 55, oh, so yeah. not. Y'all getting it good right now. Yeah. It's like 30 degrees here. But I, I go to school down in Florida, so oh, anything's okay. under that's under 70 degrees. Big change. Yeah, that's what's up. You get the best of both worlds that way, though. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we uh we touched base a little bit on, like, you know, you being from New York and that kind of, you know, inspiring your, you know, your fashion sense. But I guess I want to dig a little bit deeper into that. Yeah. Like, how does that inspire your fashion sense? Like, just your day-to-day -day clothes and, like, what you know, what you put into your uh your your what your fashion brand and everything. Yeah, I I mean I'd say like just I mean just be, being really vigilant of you know what people are wearing at all times and just like what's the newest trend. But the thing is with our brand, like we don't really like trendiness as much as originality. So and okay. what I mean by that is like I I feel like following trends with fashion is sort of cliche in a way especially for a brand like us who who you know we're super young people mm -hmm. been around for five years and i feel like we haven't really been trend hopping so i feel like our designs are very original and you know and you you can tell they're original and they have a purpose each design has a purpose yeah in a lot of brands i mean 
not not to you know throw anyone with a clothing brand under the bus but right. like it, like everyone everyone has a brand everyone has a clothing brand right like for some reason like just clothing brands in the last you know 10 10 15 10 10 12 years like at, like there's just more clothing brands than there ever were so it's right. definitely competitive. and a lot of yeah. people going into their own business and you know you're trying to become an entrepreneur and everything yeah. like that um, yeah. I, I feel like the word entrepreneur has just gotten like i mean not, not that i'm not saying i'm the perfect yeah. entrepreneur i'm de i'm definitely not perfect at all but like i just feel like there, there's just so many people that seem to think that you know the trend hopping is gonna work yeah i don't think I, I I just don't think the same way. I mean, there's different in different industries. Sure, like trend hopping is great, but with a clothing company and and you know fashion in general, I don't think trend hopping is is the thing to do. But yeah. for you like to stay original and you know you know keep it a hundred. So yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. You say that though, especially with you being from a, a such a fashionable place like New York. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people kind of got like the same ideas, like the things they want to wear and yeah. stuff. Um, but I don't feel you on like not following the trends because where we from, we're from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That mm -hmm. uh, our style is a little bit different, but we do have our times where it's like certain things are in, and then you know what I mean. But it's like we got different uh, fashion designers that do different things, yeah. so it's like you are able to kind of like get outside that box, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? That way, that's why I really, I really respect people that make clothes and stuff like that. Like I feel yeah. like you gotta really have a niche for it, you know what I mean? To kind of know and have a confidence too to you know put something out in. You know, maybe people might like it, and then maybe sometime you drop. Because I know I talk to a lot of my uh, friends that have uh, clothing brands, and it's like every drop you make is not gonna always hit. You know, so no. just to have the. Uh, I can't even count the amount of drops that we've had that like have just been underwhelming. Not that they've been bad, but then, but that like we we thought you know right. this drop would be great, this drop's gonna do great, and then yeah. they do well. Yes. Yeah, Big up to you in that way. Just keep putting it out there and keep, you know what I'm saying, yeah, exactly. persevering against exactly. all adversity, yeah. man. I, I respect that. Hell yeah, yeah. No, but I, I think, I think like, the drops that – we we just know a drop's going to be good when, you know like, – like, sometimes you just know a drop's going to be right. good. Like, our recent drop, you know, the fire department collection is doing super well, um, donating proceeds, a percentage of proceeds of the – all the sales to right to the FDNY, so that's oh, that's, that's, that's major. Cool. Yeah, that's major. Yeah, it goes. Really, our drops are getting more theme based, which I I like. Like coming out in I, I don't know when, but if, like maybe a month or two, we have a Wild Wild West hmm. collection, it's super that's, different. Yeah, fun. So <laughs> that's not nice. Yeah, you you staying creative with it and everything like that. Like you said, you. That, have, Friends, like stop your you know your imagination yeah. and stuff like that yeah got, you yeah. know so basically you got gear for you know what i'm saying everybody that want to you know have their own little fashion statement yeah no we have a lot of i i feel like our brand is very diverse in the way that there's just a lot of different pieces for a lot of different people like uh like some people i know would never wear the hoodie you're right. wearing right now right, love, <laughs> right. My, my favorite hoodie yeah personally. my favorite hoodie yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's dope, actually so far like yeah. i i love like, I literally love it. You should um, see when I wear it, I get so many compliments on it. they like, is that your brand? I'm like, I wish I could take credit for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, like, the thing is with that, like, it's kind of sometimes stepping out of your comfort zone. You know, like, your clothes are a representation of yourself. Like, I, I feel like clothes are – I mean, I feel like clothes are your habits also. Okay. Like, not not just, you know, habits are your habits. That like, is true. That's yeah. true. Yeah, you're, you're, you know, it's, I mean, it, it could be looked at in a different way as well, but, you know, you're just, you have to kind of have, like, self-expansion in a way, like, like, people grow within their clothes mm. and you know, things they like and, you know, their style. I feel like a lot of people change with that. And, you know, I feel like with our selection, like, there's a lot of room for that. Yeah, it's, it's stuff for everybody in and two to like when you say like kind of get out your comfort zone because sometimes you might have to even drop stuff that you wouldn't even particularly yeah. wear but it's you yeah. know other people yeah. would like it so yeah. that you know you got to think about that too yeah like, like i wouldn't wear i mean like it's gonna sound silly but like, i i i wouldn't wear like 30 percent of the <laughs> yeah. like that's not a bad percentage though man. yeah no, no it's not yeah. it's not like or not, not drops products rather because yeah. we have a lot of, we have like hundreds of products but you know they're not 
it's not for me it's for you know the public the people mm -hmm. yep yep yeah exactly give you longevity too oh. you know we're thinking like that mm -hmm. so we kind of touched based a little bit about uh when you started your clothing line so you said that was what that's 2017 right there 2017 yeah august 2017 yeah. uh, so what inspired you to start your clothing line yes yeah, so i mean si simply like i i i was su always super into fashion and you know sneaker collecting sneaker reselling that whole kind of um that whole area and i you know i i wanted to create a brand but i didn't just want to create a brand to that that was just like words on a shirt and there's no significance of it. I wanted to create a brand, like a clothing brand, streetwear brand that could relate to everyone. So I thought of habits, obviously, because I wanted to make it relatable to everyone. So I thought of habits, everyone has habits, but not all of these habits are good habits. So my brand inspires positivity and good habits year round. And, you know, the slogans we've come up with, your habits determine your success, wear your habits, right. just a lot of motivational stuff yeah which you know, draw people to our brand which get people excited about our brand um and all that basically all of that yeah yeah no that's 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 major and that's yeah. man that's what's up though that you even started a brand like that calling the habits 365 you know because that's motivating in itself like just just saying it like you know as soon as you kind of it's kind of self-explanatory too like kind of when you uh when you hear it you know i feel like with the brand supporting good habits, what good habits contrib contributed to building your brand? Yeah, I mean, I, I'd say just, I mean, it, it's as cliche as it is, like, not giving up and not, you know, if I don't get a result so fast to actually stay with it and stay on course, because, you know, it's a bad habit itself mm. to give after two yeah. tries of doing something, whether that's anything like an Instagram giveaway, a... I don't know, like a, a pop-up shop in person or something, or, you know, r really just anything. Um, I feel like, you know, staying persistent with anything I'm doing is the key to really, you know, building that brand and, you know, building a brand called Habits365, of course. But, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's motivating to hear you say, though, because, I, you know, just in everything you do in life, you can go through stuff like that. I know even just for, like, um, becoming a content creator and like uh, starting YouTube and things like that, even with the podcast, like it's just sometimes you know you can get discouraged, you know, by like not getting the the, the output that you thought that you were gonna get, you know. So you like you said, you gotta stay persistent with it, and you know, consistency is key. And, mm -hmm. You know, it, it'll all play out the way it's supposed to. Exactly. You know, I honestly feel. Um. So speaking on like um teams do you have a team that you work with and how important is uh is it for everyone to be on on one accord because you know there is no i in team no there's not yeah yeah so our team is not so big i mean we have like about six people now it used to be way more like our direct team you know like customer service um emails um you know like manufacturers everybody got that production so it's not a huge team but you know the people that we have we've been able to form great relationships with oh i didn't mention design team of course yeah. that's two or three people so like direct design team so you know to to get people involved and to really build this community it starts with you know obviously the habits team themselves and you know encouraging encouraging others to become their best selves, of course. And, you know, not, not, not just getting mad if you, if we don't get results. Right. The second we, you know, come out with something, right? Like, it's just, it's just really staying persistent, staying patient. Yeah. And yeah, I feel like just consistency is key with, with all that. Yeah. yeah. That, that's pretty good though. Cause I mean, even if, you know, like you said, you got to, show people not to get so, you know, kind of uh, antsy when y'all, you know, not getting the, the, the output that y'all want, but that show that they passionate about it. You know what I'm saying? So you, that means you got a good team behind your back. They really exactly. Do what doing, you know? mm -hmm. So that's what's up too. Yep. Exactly. Yep. So I have previously seen celebrities in the gear, of course. You know, we got Giannis. I just seen Floyd Mayweather, mm -hmm. Lil Baby, man. So many more. How big is networking for your brand? Yeah, I mean, networking is really the whole brand it's it's all because you know 
it's all social media presence, you know, besides like the in-person, the in-person events, like everything, everything now, whether good or bad is, is social media these days. So I feel like networking, especially with, you know, those big celebrities you just named, that's been like one of our biggest catalysts for our growth. And, you know, although like we haven't really gotten celebrity like a new celebrity recently like because it's just not our focus right now but i feel as if that, that has been just one of our biggest assets just you know being able to connect with these these huge athletes these huge musicians mm -hmm. or what or and whatnot and you know mm -hmm. see they support the brand and they they're practicing good habits yeah. that align with the brand right and yeah, yeah they, they basically that that whole thing with, yeah. with them and Especially when the time when like scamming is big too, like that kind of like puts you like in a different like realm, you know what I'm saying? Like you see, you know, it's people that you actually know like wearing that clothes. So it's like, you know, this gotta be legit. Cause I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> when, when I even went into the, you know, the brand, the brand ambassador program, I was on the same thing. I'm like, okay, I gotta make sure like I'm not getting scammed. Cause I've yeah. had situations yeah. before where like I didn't send my money to buy the merchandise. Yeah. Never merchandise but before i was getting the merchandise they would eat you know inbox yeah me. No, that, that's how it, that's sometimes yeah. you know yeah no so it's not always uh yeah no i mean there's a lot of like i mean i'm not of course i'm not gonna say but like i know i know brands that you know do that kind of thing yeah yeah so you got a big advantage there i will say so to touch back on the brand ambassador program um uh, what are the benefits that come with that yeah of course you know, wearing the clothes because they're super dope, but just like on, you know, other aspects of it too. Yeah. So, so like, like kind of, like I was saying a little earlier, you know, we, we allow our brand ambassadors to grow, meaning, you know, we allow them to have an impact basically, not just, not just posting and tagging and showing mm -hmm. love on the, you know, the picture, the video, the content side. It's also you know, like just sharing thoughts about, what they think can be improved, whether they have a design or, you know, just an, an idea about really anything. And then from there, like, we're communicating constantly with ambassadors and, you know, allowing them to, you know, r really just throw any idea they have at us right. and, you know, be able to, you know, through the Facebook group, yeah. be able to communicate with one another, ambassadors communicating with ambassadors, you know, it's all just communication at the end of the day. And like, and that 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 that's really just the whole thing, and that's been another catalyst why or and that why we have ten thousand brand ambassadors. Ooh, like yes, US. yes, let's give it up for that yeah. now. That's big. Yeah. That's big yeah. right there. Man. So it's just it's just the same thing, and we've gotten definitely gotten better at communicating and you know improving just on all levels of the program as well. Yeah, that's super dope, though. Oh, I was gonna ask, like, how does how does that make you feel? Like, you know, you wake up like, wow, it's a celebrity, you know, wearing my gear, or you know, just anybody in general. Like, how does that make you feel? Yeah, I mean, it makes me feel great, but you know, at the end of the day, like, not never satisfied. Mm -hmm. of, of course, um, you know, like very very happy with the brand and its progress, but you know, at the end of the day, like, not satisfied at all. Right. Um, you know, we want to keep growing and keep, you know, getting better in everywhere we can. Uh -huh. Hungry for it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's super dope, though. Like everything with the brand ambassador program, and I do like that because I mean, one month I was, you know, fortunate enough to become the brand ambassador of the month. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And you know, I think that's really dope because y'all acknowledge y'all people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all pay attention. Y'all very active. Um, y'all not shy about like if somebody tag you in something, y'all are sharing exactly. too. So that's yeah, cool, man, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm pretty sure they just our other brand ambassadors probably feel the same way I feel. Definitely you know? for sure. Yeah. Yeah, you you know, and, and like some, I mean, it, it's not always the same experience for everyone just because of how involved they want to get, you know, yep. if you post and tag, like, and, you know, earn commission through your code, yep. it's perfectly fine. But, you know, some ambassadors want to get more involved and, you know, we, we allow, we're, we're very flexible, like, yeah. if you're involved, get more involved, you know, like, it's very, um, it, it's very interactive at all times, which is, it is interactive like you can i can honestly dm you and then i know i can get a dm back you know what i'm saying exactly so, it, yeah there's, there's no yeah it's complete transparency yes yeah. you make time for your people at the end of the day exactly so to be a brand ambassador is there any like specific look a uh, person need to have or a specific uh a certain following base they need to have to be a brand yeah. ambassador 
Yeah, so we, we don't really have a criteria on how many followers you have. I feel like it's not it's not about fault. It's not if you have 2000 followers or 200 followers or 20 followers, you know, if, if you want to get involved and, you know, change your life for the better and, you know, make, you know, make yourself have better habits pretty much like we're, we're all for that. And, you know, following doesn't determine that. So we never really look for followers when we're looking for brand ambassadors or when someone applies, someone like DMS us for interest. Right. Yeah, no, it's, it's super inclusive. You know, I'd say really anyone can be a brand ambassador. And, you know, as long as they're, you know, qualified enough. Um, yeah. You support, you support good habits? I support good habits. <laughs> right here. I good habits. So, okay, kind of wrap this up. Is there any advice you would give to uh, up and coming clothing designers? Definitely. Yeah, I would say, you know, kind of like I was saying earlier that, you know, the tr don't go yes you can get inspiration from other brands we do it all the time but and don't and but don't make like a spin off of it and and you know although it sounds like kind of silly it's it's really just something that you know a lot of brands do try to be as original as you can and and you know it it's taken six seven drafts for us to have that one design that's killer and you know it just it it it, it, al it always just takes a little for for it to actually take off and to for it to be a legit design uh yeah it, it, it's never it's never the first draft design that's and like you could ask my the top designer at habits like he's done 10 11 drafts once like it's never going to be quick uh you know just stay consistent and as long as you're on top of your work like you can make a great design and yeah it sounds simple but you know that's really how it is yeah. are you open been like to new designs like for instance someone had an idea you'd be open to that 100 percent. yeah we're always changing our designs you know making them more creative making them more you know just just changing them a lot is is definitely one of our one of our biggest goals and everything not to make them you know worse or better but just to just to change the direction a little make yeah. it more because okay. that's what we're going yep yep all right man so i got i got a question for you You know with it being like a year and everything like that do you have any goals or anything like that uh that you setting out for just yourself or your brand yeah i i, I would say to do more, a little more writing down and preparing okay and, that's and, major because there's just so much going on that i have to do and you know so many day-to-day -day tasks that you know sometimes i forget to do just literally the second i wake up writing down physically not on my phone because i never it it just never works when i do that but uh, you never go back to the notes yeah, yeah exactly, exactly i th i really feel like it's all it is is really just you know preparing for that day writing down what needs to get done and then just r really just that like a check yeah yeah, yeah. 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 i agree too yeah uh, <laughs> yeah and so we appreciate you so much uh we do have a little game that we want to play with you okay. we got questions for you just a little funny question a little game. couple of funny question games you know nothing <laughs> too major man nothing too major but you, these are new these are questions for me too so we all gonna answer Her? the questions but you know the answer so it's just us really <laughs> <laughs> okay so um okay what goes up but never comes down <laughs> what so up but never comes down he thinking. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure you hear me. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I, 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 I don't even know. I'm over here thinking, too. I have no idea. An, uh, like, an upwards escalator? like. No. Your age. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> uh, and, okay. okay. This is a good one. What was the first cash crop in America? And we got tobacco, corn, sugar cane, or grapes. Sugar cane? No. Tobacco. Dang. Uh, I, I, was gonna say the, I was going to say the same thing. Okay. And I got I got a juicy one for you. <laughs> Have you ever talked in X? Have I ever what? Talked in <laughs> No. <laughs> Yeah, 
like that. Sidebar though, I did watch this show on Netflix and it was called like Stalker. Mm. And it was like a in prison for like being aggravated stalkers. And I'm just like, these people was uh, like, <laughs> yeah. Hey, if it's done and over with, I'm done and over with, you know? <laughs> Okay. Got another one. Um, what never? Okay, what never asks a question but gets answered all the time? What asks? No, so what? What never asks a question but gets answered all the time? Siri. Shit, close enough. Yeah, cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Because you ring and then you don't ever. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Oh, so you you got that one. You was you close. That you one. Was close. Yeah. You was closer yeah. than me. I did what she was talking about. Okay. And got... then I got one more or one more. Okay. If you um if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? If I was to what? travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? I think I, I want to go to Japan. Ooh, one that's all it. Okay. I think, like I heard it's, it's super clean, it's super modern, it's like kind of 20 years yeah. ahead. It's what yeah. I, so I'd want to go there that's and like I bring habits there as, as well. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. Oh, the, the fashion be, designers yeah, over there too are dope. Yeah, exactly. I'm not I'm probably, really hearing nobody say Japan neither, so. Yeah, I, 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 thought, I was going to say like Paris, but your answer sound way cooler than mine, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. So we appreciate you uh, being on here, man. Right. Uh, everything you do is right, super dope. Keep doing it. Keep dropping like you drop. Because y'all drop a lot of different uh, collections. Yep. Like, kind of all. So big ups to y'all and big ups to the brand. And we'll keep checking out for you, man. For Pre sure. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, this was this was a lot of fun. Definitely send me the recording or whatever. Oh, and I've been screen recording this whole time. <laughs> I know. I, I know you yep. have. <laughs> we lit. All right, man. You be, you, you, all right, be thanks, easy. guys. Talk soon. All right.